Chaos and heartbreak in El Paso, Texas this afternoon as a gunman walks into a mall. It was actually uh, uh, around one o'clock local time. Uh, walks into a mall and a Walmart there and opens fire. Uh, we do not have a good handle on the number of dead yet, but we are told that at least 24 people were shot. At least one of them has died. Steve Rogers is a former lieutenant detective, also a member of the Joint Terrorism Task Force in New Jersey. Uh, Steve, you know, we've already seen the, the tweets from politicians about ending gun violence and so forth. You, you don't think much of that. John, this is not the time to politicize a terrific, horrific incident like this. As a former law enforcement officer, you know what we need to hear? You know what the victims need to hear? Compassion, not politics. So it really bothers me. And you know it does. I, it really bothers me that any political person, especially running for president of the United States, because that's who we're hearing this from, from the uh, Democrat candidates. Look, at now's not the time to play politics. Comfort, bring comfort to the people and then move your politics onto your debates. Especially because I don't really see concrete proposals coming out of them. And, you know, it's just uh, it's just sort of platitudes. Well, it is. Uh, now, compare that to what the president did. The president, compassion, and he committed all the resources of the United States government to El Paso. That's what a leader does. You know, bring compassion and commit help. Uh, there's no solutions that these people have that are tweeting these things out or whatever. And frankly, uh, it really upsets a lot of law enforcement officers and victims. Meantime, I mean, what's going on in the El Paso department right now? Obviously, you know, this is all hands on deck after a situation like this takes place. Well, I'll tell you what's happening. You're, you're absolutely right. All hands on deck. The adrenaline's running. The police officers have a mission to complete. But I could tell you, in the aftermath of this, those police officers who are on the scene, the first responders on the scene, they're going to need a lot, a lot of help. You know, uh, a lot. Uh, the toughest guys in the world I've seen break down after seeing the things they've seen. But credit to them. They're heroes and they deserve all the help we can give them. All right. Steve Rogers, again, we'll be checking in with you throughout the evening. Thank you. Victoria Balderrama was.